bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. <laughs> This 82-year-old Broomfield man has become a worldwide sensation for this pretty shocking performance of a heavy metal song. Well, Denver 7's Liz Gillardi is here. I know, Liz, you just had to go track him down and ask about his choice of songs. Yeah, we just really <laughs> had to meet this guy. You know, John Hitlinger told me he loves catching people off guard, but the grandpa 212 and father of six says he never expected to go viral. Let the bodies hit the... The audience in shock, listening to 82-year-old John Hitlinger. It's not the first time he's pulled this trick. He loves to surprise people, usually during karaoke. I tell him I'm going to let the DJ pick something out, Dean Martin or Frank Sinatra or Tony Bennett. Watch what happens next. Oh, shoot. What? What? What is it? Oh, I must be labeled wrong. He channeled that performance during America's Got Talent, instantly going viral. The band Drowning Pool sent out this tweet, inviting the 82-year-old to join them on stage anytime. The shock value of a really old guy doing heavy metal, the combination was a killer. We'd say more like 82 years young. John started doing karaoke after retiring as an aerospace engineer. He had a hand in the Hubble telescope. His interests as diverse as his singing. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He also went to seminary, worked with the church, and even dabbled in stained glass. This is my moose. He's one of my favorite pieces. It's no wonder this headbanger has groupies. He says one time a woman in her 20s gave him a hug in front of his wife and said, you're my new grandpa. Oh, you gotta love his enthusiasm. He could join the band Drowning Pool on stage sometime this summer. They are working out the details. In the meantime, you can look for John singing karaoke at local bars around here, too. He loves performing just for that very <laughs> reaction. But, you know, he's quite the talented guy. Oh, yeah. Back to you, Ann. Definitely. That was great. Thanks, Liz.